Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be comparing a couple of nibs. Uh, the Platinum 3776 Century Broad Nib and the Double Broad Nib, or also known as the Coarse Nib. Uh, so just to start off, you guys may recognize this pen. I bought it mm, a little over half a year ago, I think now. Um, I was going back and forth on selling it. I think I told you guys that too. Um, I have decided to keep it. It is just too beautiful to let go and it's really comfortable to write with. Um, I just wasn't super happy with the nib. Uh, the nib writes how it's supposed to. I bought this with a broad nib, a 14 karat broad nib and it, it writes fine. It, it's smooth, but it's a little dry, which I think is normal for platinum. That's what I've heard. Um, so it writes how it's supposed to. I think it's just not how I like my nibs to write. I like fire hoses that just gush ink with like thicker lines because I like to show off the ink that I have. And this pen just doesn't do a super good job of that. So I was looking into other options because I want to keep the body. I love the looks of this pen. It is a gorgeous purple faceted body. And I just wanted to look to see if there were other options for the nibs. So I knew that Platinum had a coarse option, which is kind of similar to Sailor's Zoom nib. It doesn't have the line variation that you can get with the Zoom. Um, or at least I haven't tried that. I'm not super interested in line variation, but um, I ordered the Chartres Blue. Chartres? Chartres? I don't know. Sh uh, Charter? Charter? <laughs> blue. <laughs> um, with the coarse nib for the sole purpose of swapping them. I have already swapped them. So this one has the broad nib that came with this one and this one has the coarse nib on it. Um, I am going to send it to a nibmeister. The coarse, it's, it writes super smoothly. It's just, it's so big. I can't, it's, it's way too big for me to write with. So I'm gonna send it to a nibmeister so they can grind it down a little smaller. Uh, and on that note, if any of you guys know of a nibmeister, um, that doesn't have like a 10 year wait list, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much. <laughs> so just, just gonna be comparing these two nibs before I send this one off to be reground or whatever. So again, broad, double broad or coarse nib. And I'm going to also be comparing it with my Sailor 1911 21 karat broad nib. So you guys can see the difference too, with like one of the other Japanese pens. So we'll just start with this one. And before we do that, let's look at the nib itself. It should focus. Let me get my hand out of the way. Oh, it's focused before. Uh, anyway, so this is the broad nib. Not some super impressive tipping material. It's Kind of tiny. And I'll show you the double broad here in a moment. Let's zoom in a tad. So this is Tamui. And then I'm going to compare it with my Sailor 1911 large 21 karat broad nib. And this does not have color verse in it. It has styming Kensington blue. Mm 
Okay. So again, this is Tomoe. Just the, it's, it's such a massive difference. This is even more of a dramatic difference than the Sailor. Um, one of my previous videos, I compared this nib to the Sailor 21 karat medium nib, and it was a pretty big difference, but this is just insane. <laughs> this is so hard for me to write with. It's just so thick. But that's the comparisons. So that's Tomoe. Let's move on to Louis Charm, which is a little more of an absorbent paper than Tomoe. My handwriting just feels so messy with this super big broad nib. So this is a Leutch term. I want the platinum nib to write more like my Sailor Broad, so that's probably what I'll try to get. Because that's too thin, too thick, just right. So Leutch term. And now we're going to see how this writes on Rhodia the Webby, to be precise. I don't use Rhodia. Um, it's too, too dry of a paper for me. Too chalky or waxy or whatever. But I know a lot of people use it, so I have a notebook for purposes like this when I want to write stuff to show off nibs or ink. This is the Webby, so it has like cream paper or something. And Rodia. All right. 
So, I hope that video, or this video, <laughs> is helpful. I know that I would have liked to have been able to see something like this before I bought the coarse nib, which I'm still glad I bought it. I'm just gonna have it ground down because it's a little too big for me and you can't make a nib bigger. So, of course it is. But I think, I think I'll really, really love this pen even more once I get the nib reground to something more similar to what my Sailor Broad writes like. Oh, and I didn't show the, did I show the tipping material? I don't know if I did or not. Let's try it again. This is focused before, so I don't know why it's not focusing. Maybe I should zoom in. Oh yeah, there we go. So let's compare these two nibs. Coarse and broad. Check out the difference in that tipping. It's insane. It's so bulbous. Anyway, again, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or want to see anything else. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Bye.